Hey guys, this is Fiend91, and I'm talking about Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Now, remember I made a video a while back how I don't think Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door should be remastered? And after hearing that they can't even modify Mario characters anymore like they did in A Thousand Year Door, I really think it's time for a remaster just because I think if they remaster it, then maybe the, he the higher ups at Nintendo who are putting all these restrictions on the Paper Mario crew will lighten up and allow them to make a game like Thousand Year Door again. I don't even say that it has to be the whole RPG style with the sequel to Thousand Year Door. They could even keep the whole maybe puzzle mechanic and whatnot from Origami King, but maybe they could allow them to make original characters, bring back the leveling system, bring back FP, bring back stuff like that. And I really think if they do have a Thousand Year Door and it is successful on the Switch, then they would be kind of pushed at least to be like, yeah, People really like this type of Paper Mario game. Let's go back to making this type of Paper Mario game. That's just my thoughts. Yes, I believe I was wrong when I said that they shouldn't do a remaster and said bring out a sequel because now that sequel is the Origami King. And yeah. So I really think they should bring out a remaster of Thousand Year Door to show this, the higher-ups in Nintendo that people really liked that model and that people would still like the whole Paper Mario as being an RPG rather than, I think it's classified now as an action adventure. But but what do you guys think? Do you guys think A Thousand Year Door would actually push them to maybe lighten up on some of their restrictions regarding the Paper Mario crew and how they are able to display Mario characters and stuff like that? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe. May God bless you all.